Mr. T, not the Mr. T, but Mr. T tweets, what's the fave match you've ever had with Hulk Hogan? And, and that's a good question, H, because the one I remember most was the retirement match in 1994. That was Halloween Havoc in October of that year. Yeah. Well, that was the most fun because of Sherry, but the I mean, I just had fun wrestling Hulk whenever I had a chance to, but I I think probably our best match was that one in Orlando that kicked off the uh, the company and, and got enough money in the bank to start Nitro, which I didn't know about at that time, to where, where Shaq was there and uh, right. Sherry was with me and uh, Jimmy was with him. And then, of course, the one in the Halloween Havoc that you were at, where I was going to retire. Um, then, of course, they brought me back a month later. Um, so, uh, but with, because Sherry was so damn entertaining, but she climbed on top of the cage and Jimmy grabbed her and her dress came down. And I mean, just so much chemistry all the way around. And Mr. T looking at me going, you ain't going to hurt me, are you? You ain't going to hurt me, are you? I said, I'm not going to do anything to you, man. What are you talking about? He said, I, 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 don't, I don't know what should be in that cage, you guys. <laughs> the way he talked to me when I see him. Well, I remember then, Muhammad like, Ali was there too, remember? Yeah, of course. Tommy Hearn, the, the hitman was there. And I have a picture. Now listen yeah. to this, Nate. I have a photograph of me, you, and Muhammad Ali. Yeah. And I can't find it. Oh, I got it here. It's somewhere, but I can't find it. I would have that on top of my coffin at the funeral. Yeah. That was yeah. amazing. Yeah, and that was fun. It was a so, great show. And nobody remembers the matches. I, and I was at a, a couple of them. The one in Pittsburgh, and I forget where the other one I went to was, but you and Hogan on that house show loop when you first got to WWE. Mm -hmm. and, and like I said uh, in a previous podcast, you got a very strong babyface reaction. Not totally, but it was kind of a split crowd, and I'm not sure the powers that be like that. Probably not, but um, yeah, I'm just I'm just basically talking about the context of the match. I loved he, he was so over. You know, yep. there's, there was guys like when Sean's a baby face and I was a heel, that big Ricky Morton, Steamboat, me against Jack Briscoe and Jack, me, me against, uh, or like Terry against me. It took a real powerful heel in character and in work to heal on me. Terry could do it. Yep. And and I was a full-fledged, right? There was no in-between with me and Terry. That's why it worked. And when there's no in-between, it's the best matches and the most entertaining for the crowd. I and really liked you and Ricky Morton when Ricky had that little oh, yeah. run with you. Yeah. Uh, the Carolinas not, not, loved Ricky. They went nuts. Nine hour draws in one week. Wow. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, twice on Saturday, twice on Sunday. How did you feel by the second hour draw on Sunday? Oh, I was, I think Aaron had the car full of beer before the match was over. <laughs> well, Big, let's go. I've been in that car and I've had that beer, so that doesn't <laughs> yeah. suck me at all. Right Here's on. 